Michael, first day at Toyota Park. Welcome, by the way. Uh, tell me again, how does it feel to now be a member of the Chicago Fire? I'm excited. Um, obviously, connection to this club. I've been here before. This isn't my first time, but it's my, uh, my first time as an employee, so I'm excited. And uh, when we spoke earlier, you said that you looked up, you're a fan of the club growing up. Uh, tell me about some of the players that you looked up to. Yeah, I mean, I've followed the team since uh, since the original season, starting out in Soldier Field, then out in Naperville where I used to live, and then uh, back here to Toyota Park. So obviously when I was with the Galaxy, I wasn't a big fan, but uh, but I have been for most of my life. And, uh, you know, in those early years, they were really good, and I uh, looked up to a player like Peter Novak, who obviously was pretty good here. He was pretty dominant and uh, a player who I played in a similar position to, so someone who I... Uh, who I really looked up to, and I think that was, uh, he's one of the stronger players ever play in this league. And you played two seasons with the Fire PDL and, and played for the Super 20s. You won a North American title for the Super 20s. Talk about how maybe that set you on, on path for the career you've already had. Yeah, I mean, those were pretty uh, important years in my development in my uh, early days in college, and to come in here and play in a competitive environment as well as the opportunity to get first team trainings, which I did while I was with those teams, was obviously uh, a benefit going forward. So those opportunities from both the U from the Super 20s and the PDL to come in here and train with the first team, which was things that I did, were, uh, were huge for me. And of course, you won two MLS Cups with the LA Galaxy, uh, won a lot of games out there as well. How did, how did that experience first help you in your pro career? Yeah, I mean, that was a, uh, a good organization with a lot of uh, a lot of big time players, so learning from them uh, at the beginning of your career, if you can be surrounded by by guys that uh, that obviously know what they're doing and have had success, you can pick up on things like training, te training uh, mentality, game mentality, just how to uh, how to approach the game. So that was uh, that was good as a young player to experience. And then talk to us about working with Bob Bradley. Of course, a lot of Fire fans know him from his five seasons in Chicago as well. Yeah, it was. Uh, a great experience uh, being the only American at the time was uh, obviously he was a little bit uh, not harder but definitely paid a little extra attention to what I was doing and uh, that was good for me when I first got there I think I uh, had a little not a rough start but I definitely improved as the season went along so I think that I uh, hope to carry that momentum and some of the things that he helped me do with my time here. Uh, talk about what you're going to bring uh, heading into 2015. A winning mentality. I think that uh, I'm a competitive guy, so I hope to bring that every day, um, as well as uh, somebody that's going to work hard, work for the team. And I think that, uh, yeah, like you said, I know what this club, uh, what this club stands for, and the success that it's had in the past, and it needs to get back there. So I think that uh, there's no reason why it shouldn't this year, and that's uh, what I'm sure everybody expects, and uh, as well as the players.